One of the cornerstones of American hip hop is social commentary. Yes. And, you know, we're seeing the world through the rapper or MC's eyes. I feel like Epic High pushes that envelope. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe Tiger JK talks a bit about that, mm -hmm. but I feel like a lot of commercial, more commercial accessible hip hop we hear from Korea um, tends to be about relationships or personal demons or you know who's more hype. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like, is it, can you be a commercial act and put in social themes? Um, I think, I think every, I think each culture um, deserves to have its own uh, definition of conscious. Mm -hmm. I think what we consider conscious hip hop in the States um, dealt a lot with social issues. But in Korea, in, in Asian cultures, it's actually more important for artists to touch upon the inner world because that's actually what's not really spoken. Like in school, at home, um, people have a hard time expressing their feelings, the, the world that's inside. Um, whereas it's actually easier to talk about the things that are going on in the world outside of them. So I think it's actually a great thing that Korean hip hop has dealt a lot with emotions, um, dealt a lot with you know love, mm -hmm. uh, heartbreak, depression, and all of, all, of, all of that has been in our music as well. And I think, I think that might be uh, the right type of conscious for, for Asian cultures. Because it's really what goes on inside, mm -hmm. inside the world that you have, um, that is, you know, that is troubling these kids, that is um, crushing whatever dreams they had, m even before the outside world does so. So I, I think I think it's natural that Korean hip hop did that. Just a couple more questions, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, there's been controversy. We've heard some Korean rappers chastising other rappers for selling out and becoming mainstream or joining idol acts or whatever it happens to be. What is your feeling? What, uh, what is your response to the purist or people who feel uh, threatened by broader acceptance? Well, we're actually huge fans of um, anything that is, that is just really good, you know? And, um, Pure is actually a very different concept from good. Mm. You know, we, we don't feel that pure necessarily means good. And, um, and th that's why we're not afraid to do uh, things that are not expected or not considered original or pure. Uh, and at the same time, we love listening to um, you know, kids taking it and doing it in their own way, which a lot of the idol groups are doing. Yeah. Um, personally, I think one of the greatest groups to ever come out of Asia is uh, Big Bang. I'm sure a lot of people would agree. Mm -hmm. And Big Bang is a unique group because they can be accepted within the hip hop community as well as the broader community. Even if you don't like hip hop, you will mm -hmm. love Big Bang. And if you, even if you love only hip hop, you'll love Big Bang. And that's, that's a very special position to be in, and I'm sure they're in that position because they were allowed to um, you know, experiment with different sounds, and they weren't afraid to do all of that. So, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna look down on that, you gotta be pure and as good as them. <laughs> but the problem is, you know, a lot of times, you might, you know, you might be doing pure music but if it's not, if it's just not as good as their music, I mean, 